Yeah, yeah, you're right. You, you want to clinch with a win. Uh, but uh, this division is, is just an absolute death march. And so to get in is not easy. I mean, look at how well we've played over the last 25 games, and, and you're only clinching with four games left. Um, and it takes a heck of a record over 25 games of six, you know, 10 one and one or whatever it's been like just just to, just to get to that otherwise it'd be the last game of the season so um you know quite frankly i was fully expecting utica to to, to win both this weekend just because that's the way the north division seems so um you know we don't like to look at the other scoreboard uh, we like to worry about ourselves uh but you'll take the help tonight um come back and try to learn a few things from this game and and uh try to earn a win tomorrow Go down 2-0 early in the first call your way back to tie things up. What went wrong after the third? Uh, I don't know if much, really. Like, you know, I think the first two goals are goals that Devin would want back. Um, he's been excellent for us. And, and uh, you know, those are two that I think would, you know, they're barely scoring chances, you know. Um, so now you're down two nothing, um, and you claw back. We're excellent in the second, and you know the the, the go ahead goal uh, was a knuckle puck going four feet wide and it hit a D shin guards and ricocheted in. So that that's hockey sometimes, um, and and that stinks because I you know I think there was times maybe we deserved a better fate tonight in some certain situations, but um, sometimes. Bounces are part of hockey, and some and goaltending is definitely part of hockey. And their goalie was excellent tonight, and you have to give them credit for that. Brendan Warren had that fight in the first, and went immediately to the locker room. How's he? Uh, don't have a report, but other than he was not returning in the game, yeah, unfortunately. Um, you know, loved his willingness to step up and, and uh, be there for his teammates. Um, you know, just a, just the guy that's meant so much to us, um, and you know. He's got a lot of courage, a lot of toughness in him, and, and uh, so hopefully it won't be anything too serious. He seemed to be attempting to kind of change the momentum a little bit. A couple shifts where you know everything that he was near, he hit. Yeah, and that's him. Um, that's what he's evolved into. That's what he's built his game into, being a, a physical energy uh, forechecking, you know, menace uh, that has a little bit of violence when he arrives. Um, you know, some guys can can you know, hit, and it's just kind of a bump, and, and he kind of runs right through you when he hits you. Um, you know, and, and uh, you know, fighting is, is, isn't as much part of the game, but, but he's been willing and able to, to do very well in that when the time has been necessary as well. It really was a game of missed chances. I mean, Kuli and Rose and, I mean, the second period, you could have had five goals. Yeah, yeah, I think we probably could in the first too. I mean, the, the backdoor one time where he saves on Yaps, the first shift of the game. I mean, that was that, and Yaps, that was going upstairs. It was not Yaps didn't miss it. Um, he was really good. He was excellent. Um, you know, I think that there's a few that we would like to elevate over his pad. He's got the long legs and the pads get to the post, and Cooley and Rosie are probably guilty of that. Um, but you know, sometimes you do have to tip your cap to your opponent. First of all, their team played. They're, they play extremely hard. They're very physical. They're a very good defensive team. And their goaltender played outstanding tonight. Obviously, the shot volume was there tonight. Overall, were you happy with the chances the offense was able to create? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of nights, that's a six-goal game for us. Um, some of it a little missed execution. Some of it Sogard uh, performance in that. Obviously, coming to this game with six-game win streak, is this going to hurt momentum at all, losing a, a top one like this? I, uh, I don't think um, – I'm not a huge believer in momentum. Um, I think that momentum is only as good as your next day. And, and that's not just your next game. Like, you, we, can, we could have lost momentum if we don't practice the right way. Um, if you, you, know, you don't prepare the right way. So – uh, momentum is as much as the next shift. They had momentum from two kind of goals that probably, you know, we would like to have. And, you know, Brandon Warren goes out and has a couple big hits in a fight, and, and all of a sudden we get momentum and we dominate the second period. So I think momentum is uh, only as important as how you respond positively or negatively to the situation. And then going to that third quarter, it seemed like the physicality really picked up there in the end. How do you feel that that was going to be kind of effective? 
the Amherst offense is the physicality aspect? Well, they're a very physical team, easily, you know, either the top physical team in the league or in our division or, or tied for top. Um, and they make the game hard on you. But uh, like I said, I, I think we created enough chances to score enough to win. We didn't finish enough of those. Some of that our fault, some of that their goaltender. And then going back to that first period, you talk about how Levi Mayan gets those goals back. Do you feel like any other factors played into them getting that two-goal lead in the game? I didn't. Um, no, I, I didn't. Um, you know, so, you know, I think we only gave up six or seven shots in the first. I, I thought our first period was, was a good first period. Um, they had a couple, you know, seeing eye shots that, that found their way in. Um, and that's uh, and that's part of it. That's that's hockey. Uh, Devin responded extremely well. He's been excellent for us all year. I got all the faith in the world in him. Um, and I know that uh, in his next start, this won't phase him at all, and we'll just probably dial him in even further. The Nets run battle tonight. That was old time hockey. Yeah. I mean, there were there were cross checks, and there were that was old time hockey. Is that their style? Is yeah. That oh yeah, that's their style. I mean, they're well. Look at their decor. You know, I mean, their their smallest defenseman six foot two hundred. Most of their D are six three to six five, two hundred and twenty pounds. Um, their four groups heavy and big too. They're an older, heavy, physical team, um, and there's a price to pay to score against them. I thought we paid the price. I, I don't have any issue with um, guys. We had guys willing to go to the front of the net, around the net, uh, pay the price, take cross checks to be there. We just didn't capitalize on the chances we created. I mean, the fact that it's noticeable says guys are in front. Correct. Yeah, if you're not noticing it, it means they're going away from the front. Yeah. You know? um, that's something that has increased dramatically in, in our team, our willingness to be there. Um, over the last you know, 25, 30 games has just steadily increased in that area. Um, you know, it was nice to see that we still had as much presence in that regard tonight, considering Murray and Kozak are out. Warren was out after the first as well. I mean, those are three of our better players uh, at those things. Obviously, Slag has got us on the board uh, with a great screen. You know, and that's when a goalie is playing as good as Sogard was tonight, um, you know, how do you score on him? Well, you score him by not letting him see the puck and tipping one. And you score him on a backside one-timer that you elevated. I mean, that, I mean he made us earn our goals tonight. Um, and and uh, that was a great goal by Slags, and that got a lot of momentum on our side. That second power play goal for Valdo, was that just a perfect shot? Or yeah, I'd have to see it again. Probably like a seeing eye shot that, that went through two or three bodies uh, and, then, and then found it up a corner. It was, it was a good shot by them. Um, obviously, you know, you hate to give it up there. You feel like the first goal they got in the third was, was fluke. And so you feel with how good we've been playing, if it stays 3-2, we're going to tie that game up. It gets the four to two, and now, now that gets trickier, especially with how good they were in net. Um, you know, you have to pull the goalie earlier. Like, just all of those things start to impact your decisions going down the stretch after it becomes a two-goal game.